hiding in plain sight at the busiest airport in the world. Drug agents walk the concourses, blending in by dressing just like passengers. This is a DEA task force officer scanning passengers boarding a flight from Atlanta to Los Angeles. There's another. How do we know who they are? Because we use the same tactics to investigate them after several passengers said they were targeted for warrantless searches at the gate or on the jet bridge. I'm a random search, guys. So he says. So those white folks? And I'm the random search. Hollywood actor Jean Ellie was stopped by county narcotics officers as he boarded a flight for LA. When you purchase your ticket. Don't worry about it, man. Just put the call, check my bag so I get out of here, please. Thank you. That whole thing is just so humiliating. Like, who thinks this is a, a, a proper way to treat anyone? Drug agents searched Tabari Sturdivant's bags in the boarding area in front of other passengers, some recording on their phones. The agents didn't find anything suspicious. He just is like, are you high? Are you, have you smoked? Do you have any drugs in this bag? Do you have any money? The DEA and other drug agents are seizing millions of dollars from departing passengers at airports across the nation without making arrests during what the feds call cold consent encounters. You're either going to sign a consent form saying that you're allowing us to search them, okay. or I'm going to detain them, run my dog on it, and get a search form. Feel free to search the bags, sir. Are you willing to sign a consent form? Yes, I will sign a consent form. Feel free to search my bags. It's not a consensual interview in those circumstances. It's an ambush. Dan Albin and the Institute for Justice have sued the federal government on behalf of passengers who had their money seized when no drugs were found. The government doesn't arrest the passenger, they quite literally arrest their money. Civil forfeiture is actually easier than criminal forfeiture. If they take my money or decide to take it, I have to prove that the money is legitimate. They don't have to prove that it's from drugs. Perversely, it's actually easier to forfeit someone's property from an innocent person who is not charged or convicted of a crime than it is from a criminal defendant who actually is convicted of a crime. We found the plainclothes DEA task force officers by going to departure gates for LA flights. They stopped passengers at the boarding door, asking to see their documents before going through their carry-on bags. The searches we watched came up empty. The drug agents cased three different gates at Atlanta's airport, blending in with passengers while we observed from a standoff distance. But it didn't take long before the task force officers spotted our phone and camera. Once they sat down, it was time for a cold consent interview of our own. Hey there, I'm with the news. You're Sergeant Fikes, aren't you? I'm with uh, Atlanta News First. We're good. How many innocent people do you have to search before you find what you're looking for? Sir, I've got nothing to say to you. Another officer was behind me, out of sight, over my shoulder, giving hand signals to Fikes as I asked him questions. What about Tabari Sturdivant? Do you remember him? No? I took everything out your bag and put it all around in front of everybody and made you look like a criminal. Like, how would you feel? Officer Feisk. Why do people have to prove themselves innocent? You got nothing to say to these people? So we went straight to the top, Drug Enforcement Administration headquarters here in Northern Virginia. We gave the agency days advance notice that we wanted to sit down for an interview. But after we arrived in the nation's capital, the DEA said it didn't have time to answer our questions about the airport searches not off the backs of innocent citizens. And you'll catch some crooks in this process as well. But sadly, we're catching too many innocents who have to fight their way out of this bind, and many of them can't do it. Michigan Congressman Tim Wahlberg's bipartisan bill to fix the problem is on its way to the House floor after a unanimous vote. It would send all seized cash to the general fund. Right now, agencies get to keep all the money they seize. It's a perverse incentive. Criminals, actual criminals, have more rights yeah. than innocent people who have their money taken Under by the government. Asset. Under civil asset, criminals have more. That's why civil asset is such a valuable tool. It can be used well, but it can be abused. And uh, because you don't have to meet the standards that you would for a criminal uh, asset forfeiture. That unanimous vote didn't happen in just any committee. The bill passed out of judiciary, the setting for some of the most partisan battles in recent years. 
Yet Republicans and Democrats appear to agree on at least one thing, to make it harder for the government to seize money from innocent people. None of these people have been charged with crimes. They're arresting the money, not the person. That's not the way our country's supposed to work. You're supposed to be innocent until proven guilty. Not, oh, you're guilty, give me your stuff, and then you can have it back if you prove you, you didn't get it through ill-gotten gains. And that's not the way our country's supposed to work.